Uncle Dad, and we're going to adopt the child. I'm not going to watch the child, so you're going to be stuck to watch the child. I'm going to bring the baby to your house like they gave it to me, so now it's... You think I'm going to watch y'all? Child? Yeah. If we together. <laughs> you think I'm going to watch y'all's child? No, yeah, I'm being serious now. You think you think I'm gonna watch her? You she, think I'm gonna watch? She, you think I? No, no, no! Swear to God on everything I love. You think I'm gonna watch y'all's child? I think. And they said enough. You're not physically fit to watch a child. It's either adoption or I take the child. Adoption. I'm gonna give it to you. Why would you ever give it to me? Because it's a free child that you don't have to push for. That's why. Why would you ask for it extra? Because I said so. Because I want 10 kids. Hey guys, back with another video. But before I stop, make sure you smash that like button. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, you do so. Making sure that that notification bell is on with the option all. So when I upload these videos, you are the first one to watch. Also, make sure to leave a comment on this video. So getting directly into it, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. I will be going live today at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as I promised. Was not going to go live yesterday. I'm trying to catch up on my rest. However, you guys are so cute because I did bring up a topic yesterday in one of my premiere videos. You guys, a lot of you that follow me, follow all my content, knew who I was referring to when I was speaking on a content creator who I feel as though is spewing a lot of misinformation and also lies on Krishan Rock and uh, doing it. Um, you know, at the expense of Junior. Uh, but, you know, we need to use sound, you know, like common sense when it comes to some of the information that we hear. We can also take the time out as the viewers as well to do our own due diligence after hearing some of the uh, information of the allegations and fact check whether or not that's true. But in some cases, this person has been really clever into making it impossible for us to fact check because of the simple fact that there's nowhere to fact check. Now, people that are in the immediate circle of Christian Rock, family and friends or associates that are not what you would call friends, but people that are around Christian Rock um, enough to know what's going on, you know, on the inside, they're not going to tell you whether or not this is true or false. So sometimes we have to use discernment when we're talking about these things that people will say just to get a, a, um, an engagement out of you, a comment out of you, a like out of you, a dislike out of you. Whatever their motives are, because there's always a motive, um, sometimes they're not good motives. But let me just say this to you. There has been talks. I have seen interviews with Blueface and Jaden Alexis, and I, I certainly can vouch on that. I can actually pull up maybe when I go live, if I can find it on one of my videos. Um, you know, it's usually Blueface who has presented. I don't know if he's doing it to get a gag reflex out of Jaden Alexis, um, you know, response from her. But you know, worst case scenario, times when Blueface and Christian Rock were on bad terms, he seemed to be, in my opinion, threatening or thinking about getting custody um, of Krishan, you know, son Jr. And, you know, basically because Jaden Alexis at that time was, you know, dealing with Blueface, Jaden would have to take care of Junior. However, that has never happened. We never seen it happen. It has not been heard of of ever happening. Not even her babysitting Junior. So it really chuckles me, makes me laugh when I see a channel holder who doesn't have any inside information, um, never shows any receipts. Um, you'll come after a lot of these female channel holders because a lot of the people that view this content are females but you'll take for face value what the guy says or, or let them catch a break but let me or another female channel holder 
bring up these bogus allegations and you guys are ready to drag until you cannot drag anymore. Let's use common sense. Where else have you heard beside this exclusive information that's usually only on that channel holders page and the way they get away with saying um, that this is true is because you can't find the information because it's not true. And second of all, there's no reliable source to fact check it. Um, so it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a no brainer. It's, it's definitely a, a clever idea to get clicks and views um, to a video by making up slander and lies on a poor child. And to say that Jaden Alexis uh, picked up Junior to take him to go visit his father. Okay, if the situation maybe uh, were two grown adults who got along, there was one time they reunited. I showed you guys that in that morning live yesterday, but that was short lived. And then they went back to, you know, two women, one the side chick, one been around for Lord knows how long. Um, being ran, you know, being cheated on with the side chick, um, and blue face, uh, treating the side chick, which is Krishan, like the main chick and flip flopping back and forth. There's no way that you're going to make me believe. And I know that a lot of people with common sense are not going to believe that Jaden Alexis just recently picked up junior to take junior to go see. Uh, Blueface. And let me tell you something. We all notice in the community, Blueface, when Krishan Rock was out and she was sharing some of the jail calls and their conversations, Blueface don't even ask the concern about Junior like he seems to have for his two kids with Jaden Alexis. So why would he even fix his mouth to have Jaden go out of his way, her way, to even go get Junior to do that for him. And first and foremost, Christian Rock wouldn't co-sign that. And Jaden Alexis, just because that is Blueface's, um, you know, son, he doesn't have, on a legal standpoint, a leg to stand on to make that decision for Jaden to go over and take Junior. That would be kidnapping. That's the only way that she would probably get him. So we have to make sense, make sense. I know you guys are now sending me videos. Um, and these are videos that were done within the week um, of, you know, Junior's name being put in the equation. And, you know, lies, because that's what, in my opinion, what I believe that are being told to the public. You know, and I really think that sometimes when people buy into it, that's because they're not really supporters. They're people that are waiting for a train wreck. They're waiting for Krishan Rock to crash. Um, so they entertain uh, the the notion that this is true, that Jaden Alexis went to go pick up, uh, you know, Junior. When we all know that if Jaden Alexis was even probably stepped foot over on that other side of the fence... And try to even ask whether it's in person or over the phone. Could she do that? It'd be smoke. So, you know, come on. Let's let's use a sound mind and common sense when we listen to some of the things that are being said. I also want to bring up to you that, you know, I, I do update you on Krishan Rock. And, um, you know, I also check situations when I feel like people are being really disrespectful in the community in regards to a toddler. However, I heard somebody say, oh, you're lying about Junior's birthday. Let me tell you something really quickly before I, I uh, finish off. Papa Blue, who should have probably a day before or the day of. Um, you know, said, you know, basically, if you want to send a happy birthday wish video or audio to Junior, please send it his way. Should have made it clear exactly when Junior's birthday is. It's not my job to worry or wonder or keep track of when Junior's birthday is. And I have nothing against a toddler. He's he's harm. He's a harmless child. However, I have a grandchild of my own. I need to be focused and in and. and and worrying about when her birthday is. Not trying to say I would never get Junior a birthday gift or that I'm not concerned about the well-being of Junior. But that just goes to show when I tell you something, believe it. 
I am not pressed or obsessed like a lot of people are about a little child that I know is being well taken care of and fake pretending like I'm concerned. So that is why when I heard Papa Blue put up but not be clear that uh, it was Junior's birthday, uh, because that's basically what he said. And if you want to send a happy birthday wish, uh, send it his way and it would get to Junior and Krishan Rock, I guess. I I thought that his birthday was that day of the day um, before. However, that goes to show the truth remains the same and a lie you got to keep up with. I don't keep up with Junior. And only time really his name is brought up is when it's mentioned to me. I'm not going to get on my live and talk about a toddler and uh, drag and character assassinate a toddler. So that's why, you know, over here on this channel, I didn't know exactly what day Junior's birthday was. And I presented the information um, because of how it was written by um, Slowski himself, Papa Blueface. Um, and it, it, it sounded just the way it was written. You guys seen it at the beginning of the video. So let's not act like you guys have issues. OK. And, and, and problems with me. OK. You take that up with Papa Blue. You know, or move around in some traffic because I don't have time to go back and forth about um, a toddler and when his birthday is and when it's not. Because at the end of the day, I'm not going to lose any sleep either way on whose birthday is when. Okay, I can barely keep up with my own birthday, let alone somebody else's.